Hey everybody, Charles for HumbleMechanic.com and today we're talking diagnosing underboost faults on TSI engines. All right, so diagnosing underboost faults. This is going to be a P0229 fault on the TSI engine specifically. This of course can be a fault on any, any turbocharged car, but today we're focusing on the TSI. This is a concern we've been seeing a fair amount lately, and I've been trying to put together a really quick, really easy, and an almost 100% spot on way to diagnose this issue. Now the car we're looking at today is going to be a Tiguan, and this seems to be, for whatever reason, the most common one as of right now. But remember the TSI engine was an 08 and a half and up engine on the EOS, on the Passat, on the CC, on the GTI, and on the Tiguan. The Tiguan actually still has it today as of model year 2017. So this is a wide range of engines that this can potentially happen on. The mileage that we've been seeing this on most common is anywhere from about 65,000 to 100,000, give or take. So if you pull faults on your car and you have a P0299 fault, this is the order that I found to be the best. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check for boost leaks. We're gonna grab our, well, I don't have mine, but we're gonna grab our trusty flashlight and we're gonna look to make sure we don't have a hose clamp off or maybe a hole in the intercooler or something like that. Typically with that kind of boost leak, you'll hear it when you drive. You'll hear under heavy acceleration a whistle because there's air actually blowing out of the charge system. So anywhere from the turbocharger back to the throttle body, if there's a leak, oftentimes you can hear it. Next, we're going to take a look at our wiring and make sure that the wiring is good from our boost pressure sensor back to our ECM. Now, a lot of times you're not going to be able to just look at the wires and see if there's a problem. But again, this is a really good visual inspection. If you see anything out of sorts under the hood, you're going to want to start there. Also, if you have access to VAGCOM or another diagnostic software, you can monitor boost pressure while you drive to see if the actual matches the specified. Now, knowing all that, we really either need a scan tool or we need to really know what we're looking at in order to diagnose the problem that way. Plus, that often takes time, it takes test drives, it takes having someone to ride with you because the last thing you wanna do is be staring at your phone while you're trying to drive and monitor for boost problems. So I've found a way that's been incredibly accurate to pinpoint failure of, well, let's face it, this is the worst case scenario, a failing turbocharger. This seems to be the most common thing that's happening as of right now. First thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna get underneath our car and we need to get access to the turbocharger. Now on the Tiguan, this is probably going to result in taking off the belly pan for the best possible view. Even taking off the heat shield, even taking off the shield over the inner axle joint on the passenger side will really open up the room for you to look at the turbocharger. And what we're gonna be looking at is we're going to be looking at the wastegate actuator arm. This is pretty easy to see on all of the two wheel drive vehicles. If you have a four motion car, this is going to be a lot more challenging. The bevel box is right in the way. You're going to need to look directly between the engine block and the bevel box in order to see this wastegate actuator arm. It may take a little bit of maneuvering to actually put your eyes on it. You're also gonna want a long screwdriver in order to get it up there, and that's what we're gonna use to test it on the four motions only. But if you have a two-wheel drive, I really, really would prefer you actually put your hands on the turbocharger to feel what's going on with it. So once we're able to get our hand onto the wastegate actuator arm, we're going to move it back and forth. You can see here on this wastegate, there's a very, very, very small amount of movement on the arm going into the turbo. On the piece coming from the actuator, there's actually a lot more play. Now, a bit of play in the arm coming from the actuator is not going to be as big of a deal as play in the arm going into the turbocharger. If you experience any play in the arm going into the turbocharger, odds are 
you have a bad turbocharger. When we look inside the turbocharger, we're gonna see exactly what's going on. This piece right here is actually the wastegate. When it closes, it allows the car to build boost. As you can see, there's a lot of movement in that round piece. Even though it doesn't look like very much in this video, that amount of movement is enough to cause that not to seat properly. You can also see that I can spin it by hand in order to make it move. That just means that it's not seated properly. If we compare that movement to the movement on a brand new one, it's a lot harder to rotate, it's a lot harder to move on a brand new one versus one that was bad and did have the P0299 fault. We can also inspect it visually, but this is a lot harder. Even though in this shot, it doesn't look like that arm is sitting properly compared to what it looks like on a brand new turbocharger, this is gonna be a lot harder to see inside of the car. It's easy to see on the bench, but it can be challenging to see inside of the car. So what we wanna do is we wanna check for play. We wanna move it back and forth. And if we experience any play in that arm, we probably have a bad turbocharger. Now, I've used this method on about six turbochargers and I've been correct every single time. But I'll caution you, do not just jump straight into a turbocharger until you know 100% for sure that your turbocharger has play. You can feel the play in the turbocharger wastegate arm, but if you're not 100% sure, find a friend that has the same car and feel the difference. There's a distinct, not even a question difference between a good one and a bad one, but it does take doing this a few times to really develop that feel. Basically, if there's wiggle in the wastegate actuator arm, then it's getting a turbocharger from my end. There's also another way you can do this. If you take the O2 sensor out, you can put a borescope down in that hole, start the car up, shut it off, and when you shut it off, you'll see this pin on the wastegate actually rattle around. This means you have to have an O2 sensor socket and you have to have a borescope to see it. So if you don't have those tools, you're gonna really wanna do this hand check of the turbocharger. Also, make sure the car's not hot. Turbochargers get incredibly hot, so you wanna make sure that you're not working on a hot engine while you're doing this. Also, there are other ways to diagnose this problem. We can look at measuring value blocks, of course. We can actually hook up a boost gauge and monitor actual boost of the engine, but I highly recommend doing this very quick, maybe three minute check on your turbocharger. It's gonna take you longer to take the belly pan down, take that heat shield down, or take that grease shield down, or get your car up in the air than it is to actually check this. But I've found this way to be incredibly accurate and a really good, quick, simple check that anybody can do. All right, guys, hey, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Questions, comments, you know what to do. Hey, if you like the video, please throw it a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. You can also subscribe on YouTube or on the blog at humblemechanic.com. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the blog, and of course on Snapchat. All right, guys, hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Also, I hope this is one of those videos that no one ever needs to use because their car never has a problem, but like I said, we've been seeing this a fair amount, and I really wanna make sure I put this information out there for you guys. If you run into this problem, this really does only take a few minutes to check.